if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, have you seen that new feature on uh, YouTube here where it's called time stamping and it allows us creators to go down here and create this timestamp so that you can more quickly access maybe only the information in the video that you want. So like for example here, if I wanted to see close up, go here, boom, moves me right to that part of the video. It's allowing us for uh, the ability to go back to longer content and still kind of serve you uh, for the shorter, quicker stuff. So look for it in all our videos in the future and let's get started on this one. Hey friends, I am finally replacing Larry. Man, you remember when these came out? I, I couldn't even tell you what year. I literally think I've had this thing for 15 years. I, I don't know, but I remember when they came out, they were so flipping cool. The only thing that kind of grew to suck about them is that you forget to turn them off and it chew up batteries like crazy, but it was always just so worth it. And look at this thing still actually puts out some good light. There's pretty new batteries in it. And back when this came out, what was so cool is it had this angled magnet on there. And I remember the first time using it in a in a furnace actually in my home just where i could actually see it was kind of cool but there's just so many better lighting uh um products out there today with uh just the the way the leds are different and how crisp and clear it is so we just upgraded and i thought i'd show you what we uh, are gonna try we can't give it a full review but i'm gonna show you what we uh, came up with to replace larry man larry you're still gonna sit around here somewhere but uh man you've been good to us so thank you for all your years of service but you're going to retire, my friend. Let's see what we got. I can't review the quality of these products right now. I'm just opening them up and going to dive into how well they work. But saw some pretty good reviews. But this was a two-pack. Like 30 bucks. I mean, it's crazy, 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 crazy cheap. There's the other cords, so two completely individual units. Whew. But how cool is that? Looks pretty dang bright. But the thing I also really like is it's got a magnetic bottom. And I'm familiar with these from a lot of phone mounts and stuff where you can loosen this up and you know find your piece of metal to stick it on. And then uh, uh, get it in that sweet spot here. You know, go here. And... I really, 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 really think this is gonna be really useful. Oh, check that out. Holy smokes, I did not see this in anybody's review where it had a battery indicator. Uh, and this one obviously came fully charged. So, there's the charge port. Obviously, I'm a little sweaty here. Charge port, comes with cables, but dang, holy smokes. Um, I'm super impressed right. And also, so this has this hook mount. The only thing I wish is I wish it was like an actual hook so you could get around. Uh, what I'm going to do to overcome this is this. I'm just going to get a type of carabiner that I can hook across there and then have the other side be able to go on to whatever I want to hook on to. So only first initial, almost prevent me from buying it because I wanted this to be its own hook. So. I think that's a pretty easy workaround. I saw these for like 15, 16 bucks uh, on their own for a single. But what my thought was, man, especially not knowing that it had this indicator on there, what my thought was is I keep one fully charged and waiting. And then if it ran out, it says uh, on the specs anywhere from two and a half to five hours or whatnot. As you can see here with any battery product, they always you know claim these really, really high um, you know, working times. I've never really found it to be that true. Uh, with this being variable, that, I mean, it's pretty cool that I am gonna be able to extend that. But what I thought is, heck with it. I'll use it as full power. Oh, there's the other ones fully charged too. I'll use it full power as much as I want, have another one sitting, charging, waiting to go. And I think this is really gonna allow me to get in places that I really want to. I, I was watching a video on South Main Auto the other day, and it looked like he had a snap on one or something really brand name, and that's what made me go into Amazon to go on the hunt for these and uh, get something I could really just uh, stick deep down into uh, a chassis or something, and uh, especially on my automotive applications, and figure out what I need to figure out. 
once I started looking at this though and saw like this adjustability, I was like, gosh, this would be great even as a content creator on a table. This would be great for machining. I'm super stoked about that. All right, why do I have another box? In the space of wanting to update lighting and I wanted something more pocket orientated and I kind of use that same theory of thought of not trusting the working times and I, I don't ever want to be without light. So I came across these and they were just such a great price. And once again, following other people's reviews, they looked really impressive. Cable. But what I loved about this little guy is check out the compactness of that. And then this thing's pretty awesome for the fact that it, you know, flips up and around goes all the way this way you could just put it back against itself it's the same uh, style of magnet uh, base I'll go put this on some uh, uh, pieces of steel out here before we finish this video so you can see you know how strong the magnets are will it hold its weight sideways and so on the first thing that I'm gonna say about this one and I, I didn't even comment on this, is this is pretty light for as long as it is. You know, you always wonder on the magnet, it's better be dang strong to hold all that weight at an aggressive angle. But this thing is crazy light. Uh, I have to look at the specs and see what uh, they claim for the weight. But check this out. Oh, nice. Now we got a, a true hook like I like. I almost wonder if this would be strong enough if I could just cut this other one off and basically make a make a single sided hook out of that. I don't know. It wasn't designed that way but it may get its very own little hook like this. But this one I saw, God that head really has, I mean, awesome articulation. Where I really saw this one is especially stick it up on a magnet and being able to completely control where I want that to go. So. Let's see if this one comes charged. Dang, i blind myself. Uh, it has a high and low, and I believe if you hold it, yep, it goes into that red. I've never used that, but for roadside emergency or something, seems like that'd be pretty handy. But man, I'll tell you what, that is bright. I am super uh, stoked about either one of these right now. So why don't we do this? Uh, we've already seen like, like this two pack, I don't remember. Uh, obviously, I'm going to screenshot this in and put uh, what the cost was, but it was so inexpensive for the two-pack. Same thing, leave one charge, other ones. Oh, forgot there's another feature on this one. Check that out. It's got a little pointer light. Need to get down into something. Oh, this is freaking cool. Freaking cool. Some of the complaints I saw were worried about the head breaking or whatnot. And I mean, I just know enough about you know, working with plastic, I wouldn't grab it out here and put all the effort here. If I want to rotate this around, I'm going to grab the base and that should be able to make it last longer. Um, but let's, let's get out to the shop to something metal and see how strong these magnets are before we wrap this little uh, idea up for you. Good bang for the buck. All right, let's go see how strong the magnets are. All right, this should give us some good uh, ideas on how strong the magnet is. Oh, shit. Dang. Boy, you don't need much. Uh, look at that. Actually, I, I felt like I was going to break the plastic. Well, check that out. i got to even see how it looks on the screen. That is freaking awesome. You just put some tension on there. Man, that is freaking cool. Let's give it a little... Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, that magnet's so strong... I feel like I'm gonna break the plastic. That's why I'm dragging it. There we go. Once we get on to good metal. Look at that. Is this metal? Holy shit. Look at that. Man, that is awesome. I love the ease of the dial, too. Okay, you passed the test so far. Let's grab this guy. This one, there were complaints on the magnet. Now, I tell you right now, it's definitely not as strong as this one. This one claimed to be like a 20 pound magnet, but heck, I'm gonna definitely dig that. 
getting down in here, looking around. That's cool. Oh, that was on high too. Let's do low. Big difference between high and low here. And the dome light feature. I like that this toggle doesn't make you go through the red. It's one thing I always hated about these toggle flashlights where it makes you go into something you're never going to use. And I think on this, I'm going to always just have it on high and be going to town with that. So, hey, I think these are pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. The, uh, the first thing I'll say is I was not paid or endorsed um, by these guys. I can tell you one problem I'm going to have right now is I'm really have to be intentional about that dome light because watch. When this light went out as well as looking at, if you're not in a really like dark area, I'm not even noticing that dome light on until I tipped it. So I could see where I'd run out of battery probably pretty easily uh, without that. So I, I think these are uh, gonna be crazy cool, but I got off track there. I just wanted to say I'm not paid by these. I bought these out of my own pocket, just looking for something to do. And uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the initial purchase of this. You'll have to see over time, you know, how I really feel about it. Um, if you remember about a year ago, I reviewed this doing some automotive stuff where I wanted to put it up under the hood of my car and have a lot of flexibility to rotate it around. If you are not on all four points of those magnets, it does not have much strength. So really wish this had a better magnet. But as long as I'm on, as long as all four pads, are contacted on good metal it will support its weight but if you're not that thing's going flying i will have to say that this thing's been pretty resilient because i've dropped it uh about a half dozen times from not being on good metal on all four pads so i'm pretty sensitive the whole magnet thing and what i, I just to showcase that you can see here when i'm on all four it is freaking strong if i can even get on three it's really 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 good and strong Anyway, uh, this thing was, I don't know, 20-some bucks, too. I was super uh, happy with it when I got it, and I'm still happy with it to this day. So I just thought I'd share a quick little uh, in-the-shop uh, video on what we're doing for lighting. And like I said, if you got some links or products or stuff you like, throw them down below. Uh, help us all in our little community here see things better. I'm going to get back at it. I want to make this video short just to kind of... Uh, show you what I was getting into here and how I was making things better so I got a hot mess to clean up uh, moving a bunch of stuff around the shop uh, getting ready to uh, to finally unbox the other boss equipment lifts like that uh, bad boy over there and uh, just kind of finished getting things in order uh, over the weekend so anyway hope you're all doing well make it a great day stay safe and as always keep wrenching my friends